Come here, Gypsy. Gypsy. Come here. Come here, Gypsy. Gypsy, here. Welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Hunting. All three gyps are out of heat. We're gonna take them to the woods. I got the pups with me too. The only two that are lacking are Pablo and Tiger. So let's see what we're gonna get done. It's still dry, but it's turned off cold. So a little change of scenery. Uh, leaves are falling. There's still a lot of leaves on the trees, but anyway, we're gonna see what these old gals can do. They've been laid up for three weeks, except for Fury. You saw what she did last week. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Well, the terrible trio. Well, come here, Gypsy. Come here. Come here, Gypsy. Gypsy. Come here. Come here, Gypsy. Gypsy, here. <clears throat> Don't want to listen. Tone her and get her to come back so I can fix her collar. Here, Gypsy. Come here, come here, bud. You okay? Let me fix that car. There you go. Come on, get ahead. <clears throat> she ain't got to play with these puppies much, so she don't know what to do about them. And I'm expecting her and Annie to act like idiots. Uh, <laughs> they generally do when they come out of heat, so. Now she just went 300 yards and come turn around and come back, but let them burn some of this energy. They're all fat except for Annie. She don't get fat. We feed her a 55 pound, a 55 gallon drum of feed a, a day and she won't get fat. Right. She's 260 yards from us right now, Annie is furious. And he just struck. Tree ante. One right out the gate. Look. Hey. There's the truck. <clears throat> we gotta go down here and see what we can find. Y'all hear chunk? Y'all you know, hear Chunk? He got left. Smoke did. I, pass, I passed him up. <clears throat> so, what are you doing here? Get in there with mama. Get in there with mama. Come on, Chunk. Get in here with mama. Fury, I couldn't tell you. That's you. Huh, Gypsy? I have a problem. I hear the loudest one and I can't distinguish the other one. Right now, Annie's the loudest one. Well, Fury is over on that other tree. Here, you better get ahead. Uh, you got right here, buddy. You got him? You got him? Quit that. Oh, 
Well, I got Annie and Freed behind me, and Gypsy and Fury keep treeing over here on, on that big tree with the vine on it. Jerry's moving the track. So. What do you think about it, Chump? Get over with Mama. Mama show you how it's done. Yeah, that's a good boy. Get over with Smoke. I can't hardly... can't hardly tell even through the thermal. This <clears throat> big old woolly booger tree. I'm gonna look it over with the white light for a leaf. Jeez, I went behind me. I wanna say I just saw him with the thermal. I ain't for certain. Get ahead, Annie. Annie, get ahead. Get ahead, baby. Come on. In a hole. In a hole. In a hole. Come on here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on here. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Hey, come on. In a hole. Hey. Get ahead. They're gonna go with mama, hopefully. These other two. The one over here in the tree. Mm -mm. I told y'all I was gonna look at and over with a white light, but I don't know if I am or not. It's too thick to look up, and this one looks like it's gonna be the same way, so maybe the story of the night. But we had two trees just a little bit. You better get ahead. You better get ahead. Not y'all, y'all stay put. Speak to him, Gypsy. What I tell you, act like idiots. Now she's a silver champion. She's been laid up three months, uh, three weeks. Uh -huh. Back in there, same the tree. After I pulled her off, I told her to get hit. That tree over. We're going back to that one. You better get ahead, Annie. Hey, you better not go back to that tree. Get ahead. Get in yonder. Yep, come on. Come on, get in yonder. Come on. Come on here, Fury. 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 You better leave it. Get ahead. There ain't nothing in that tree. Gypsy, come on here. All right, y'all bear with me. I'm gonna hang y'all up in the tree for a minute while I situate my equipment back in its proper place. Put the eyepiece back on my heat seeker, my thermal imager. Get y'all back. 
All right, now any more than likely had one. I don't see one in this tree. I mean, it, it's not as bushy as hers, but I can see it pretty good with the thermal. Uh, and I didn't see anything in it. So I'm gonna say they jealous tree twice. <clears throat> now they did a good job of it because they were sure sounding pretty. All three dogs treat it once within 50 yards of one another. Now, Fury did run a track right there to that tree, so I know they probably had something. Annie, uh, you know, I say they had something. They, they fell tree, jealous tree from Annie. But uh, these, they gonna mess up too tonight, because, come on here, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. All right, everybody got the tone of correction. Annie for going back to the tree twice and fury and gypsy because they wouldn't come to me when i called them so instead of running them 10 miles i just called them and loaded them up i just sent them down this little tree line see what they're gonna do pointed them back toward the north where we generally turn loose so that's what we're doing so anyway sitting and waiting the second one won't be as easy as the first ones. But like I said, I couldn't tell if there's a coon in those trees or not. So who cares? They're out exercising. That's the name of the game. Getting them back in shape. The coons will come. Maybe. Once we get on better ground. So I expect mess ups tonight. So we're going to have some correction. I'm not going to do get overboard with it unless they need it. But... just because it has been so long since they've been out. Now Fury, on the other hand, she's been out once, so she's gonna get a little bit more correction than the other two. Now these pups don't get to go but once a week, so their lessons are short. So four months old running around doing this, I don't mind it. I mind them barking in the box and not wanting to get out of the box. Little gypsy. He's almost ready. I need to smoke. What y'all put to do? Most folks don't like this, just rubbing on them. But when you, a little rough with them, when you get on to them, they need some reassurance. You still love them. And he's opening up. Now all I did was grab them by the collar and pull them out of the box. I didn't, I didn't beat on them or nothing, but they get their little old feelings hurt. This line of dogs, they'll pout. You tone them and they'll pout, just like Annie did earlier. She probably treed. No, she's running nowhere onto the neighbors. She 475, Gypsy's showing treed, but she ain't sounding treed. All right, sounds like the girls are treed, Fury and Gypsy that is. Gypsy just lo or Fury located real big. I don't know what Annie's doing. She's running, I guess. Out of here.
what just happened is, ain't nothing up this tree. I did not see a thing in the thermal. I mean, it, I'm gonna show y'all. It's a fairly easy tree to look up. I mean, ain't a whole lot of leaves on it. And I can look up every limb and there's no heat signature on this in this tree, nowhere. So I scolded them, sent them on. Told them to get ahead and find it. So they better go in there and find it. I just toned Annie. So get her turned around and get her back on this property instead of the neighbors. <clears throat> get ahead, Fury. I not needed to put this hoodie on tonight. I can always take her off. It get cool, but I ain't walked that far in a while. Not that fast and hard, but anyway. We still await no one to be treed. They making trees, but there ain't nothing in them. It's one of them nights. It still ain't rain. I think they're calling for a chance next week, but by the time it gets here, it won't be here. So, uh, anyway. It's, this isn't how it happens most nights. This is the part you don't normally get to see, but you see it here on my channel because I hunt trashy dogs. And normally, Gypsy's my go-to dry ground dog, but not right now. She just ain't acting right. That heat cycle got her all messed up. So anyway, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm gonna check and make sure where Annie's at, so y'all hang tight. All right, now what I'm doing, I'm just walking the dogs, heading them back to the east, just walking this patch. I got Annie back. She's sulking a little bit because that's what she does when she gets toned. Uh, Gypsy's the only one really going. Everybody else is hanging tight, but uh, Fury's hanging in here kind of close. And so was Annie, but uh, well, Annie just ran into a, into a no, that was smoke. Just ran into a treetop. You run into a treetop smoke. But anyway, so that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna walk and see if we can't run across one. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. It's, Patch ain't holding a whole lot right now. There ain't no whole lot of water except from a ditch in the back that's on the east side. So that's where we're headed. Hey, chump. And uh, hopefully we'll, there's a, a good bottom in there that's got a lot of acorns and we generally get a track in there. So that's where we're headed. All right, let's tell y'all what's going on. Annie's in here barking. Gypsy was opening up. She's moving along. She located. Fury's in there checking her tree. But Gypsy is doing her normal thing. She's checking herself. But I think Annie's figured it out. She has Fury right there. They listen every now and then. And Fury's wanting to tree him right there. I'm just going to hang tight and see what... Gypsy and Annie gonna do. Fury's locked in right here. We're gonna let her tree a minute and I'm gonna walk over here. She's 40 yards from me. Let's go see. <clears throat> I think she's jealous of tree in. She ain't really. 100% locked down. She ain't treeing right. I'm gonna leave her alone for a minute. Well, Gypsy and Annie are coming back my way. I mean, they just made a hard turn. Coats opened up behind me. Scared these two. They come in here to me. They don't know I'm coach towards the enemy.
anyway. Got in here a little close to Fury. She's just out of the light. Right there. Of course, they don't mess with it too much. I think it's all in how you hunt them. Old Gypsy rolling him back on in here. Probably running a code. Her, her and Andy probably got a code on the run. Gonna be just blowing out the country and then just turn around and come back. I don't know. Could be a deer, could be a saying gypsy's tree. Annie's right there with her, but she ain't she ain't backing. She's coming in this way. Now gypsy got off the tree. All right, we're gonna walk past Fury and go on in here towards these other two. Get them around this deer. Well, it's kind of funny. The dogs in here competing with each other. Gypsy located and treed on this tree. And as she normally does, she got down and checked herself. Annie come in there and rolled up the tree, stole the tree from her. So anyway, they both in here chopping on it now. So we're gonna go see if them baby girls got them something. Sounds good anyway. Beauty's in there with them too. She went in there and, and I'm gonna get mine too. Gypsy and Beauty got off that tree. They still there. Get on that tree. Get on that tree. Oh yeah, Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobby, right there, right there. Good girls, good girls. Woo, good girls. Well, the girls finally got it did. Gypsy and Annie, that is. Fury come in there and grabbed. I tried to reward them, but that didn't work out either. So now they're getting rewarded by water. We finally made it to the ditch. And uh, getting everybody refreshed because it's dry. Everybody's tired, except for these puppies. They've been going a lot more than the rest of these dogs. So. They wanting to, and it's just a matter of time. Chunk following his mama. He smoked getting out there using his nose, getting away from his son. Every time I take them, they get a little better. So. Like I said, they only get out once a week. It's not like I'm hunting them five, six nights a week. Oh, uh, now these gyps are fixed, you know, now that they're out of heat, one's going every night this, this next week, so. Uh, for an hour, so. Just gonna carry one of them every night, so. And then on the weekend, I'll carry the puppies, so. And then I'll get old Pablo and Tiger and bring them one night. Let them stretch their legs. Well, the gypsy's treeing, so we're going to her. Sound like Fury's in there with her. Good to him. Good to him, Gypsy. I 
can't find one in that tree. Gypsy located on it good, but I can't find one in it. What do you think about the chunker? Chunker. Annie didn't think nothing was in it either. She didn't stay with them. She came and checked them. I had to get on to it to get ahead. Come on, smoke. Come on, chunk. Go with mama. Mama going slow, y'all can keep up with her. Go with her. Alright, well, I'm gonna let this uh be it for this week. Um we made a bunch of trees. I only looked at one raccoon. So puppies didn't even get a chance to smell it. So we're gonna see what uh what else they can get done. But in the meantime, I thank y'all for watching. Remember it's all about these dogs. Till next time, it's been another episode of Louisiana Hunting.